ビビだイエーイ Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of Bibi Dot. I'm so glad you joined me today. It's so good to see your smiling, happy faces out there. Are you guys having a good day? Great, me too. Do you remember what we're going to learn about today? Yep, that's right. A lot of you said the right answer. We're going to learn about the letter P. <gasps> P is a fun letter to learn about. Hmm. Do you know what a capital P looks like? This is a capital P. Say P. Good job. Let's say it one more time. P. Good. This is called a capital P. See how it's big? Well, if this is a capital P, what do you think a lowercase p looks like? Yes, kind of like a little capital P. Let's see if you're right, shall we? Yep, you were right. This is called a lowercase p. Say lowercase p. Good. Capital P, lowercase p. Say P. Good job, friends. You are so smart. Great job. So these are the letter P. And this is what we're going to be learning about today. Things that start with the letter P. Are you guys ready? Good. So am I. Let's put the P's down. One, two, three. Well, we're going to play the guessing game. Do you guys remember how that goes? Let me remind you. I'm going to be thinking of words that start with the letter P. I'm going to give you clues and you guys are going to try and guess what I'm thinking by the clues I give you. Are you ready to play? Good. Let's get started with our first clue. Well, our first clue is, it's an animal. It starts with the letter P. They're usually black and white. They have a beak. They're a bird. Hmm, they can't fly. They walk like this. Can you guys guess the word I'm thinking of? <gasps> I hear some great answers out there. What do you think it is? Oh, I hear a lot of you saying the right answer. That's right. Yes, my friends, it is the cute little penguin. Oh, look at this penguin. And it has a little baby that's hatched already. Isn't it just precious? Oh, so cute. Penguin starts with the letter P. Say penguin. Good job, friends. Say penguin. Good job. And penguin starts with the letter P. You are just too cute. I'm going to have to put you down now. Are you ready? Here we go. Just gonna put it right down there. Don't wanna hurt her baby. Okay, are you guys ready for the second word I'm thinking of that starts with the letter P? Good, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. It starts with the letter P. It's another animal. They live in the Arctic. They're the largest carnivore on land. Do you guys know what carnivores are? Some of you know. Well, I'll tell you. It means it eats meat. Carnivore means it eats meat. So what do you think it is? It's the largest land animal that eats meat. It lives in the Arctic. And it's an animal. Hmm. Any guesses? Hmm. I'll give you one more clue. 
It's a type of bear. <gasps> Did I give it away? Remember, it starts with the letter P. <gasps> oh, I hear the right answer out there. Good job. Yes, yes, guys, you are so smart. It is the polar bear. <gasps> look at this guy. He doesn't look like he'd eat meat. He looks like he'd eat flowers and rainbows. He's so cute. Look at you. Say hi, polar bear. Hello. I'm a polar bear and I eat meat. Whee! This little guy is called a polar bear. Say polar bear. Good job, friends. Let's say it one more time. Say polar bear. Great job. Good. Okay, Mr. Polar Bear. We're probably going to hear more about you later. So I'm going to put you down. Let's put you right by the penguin. Don't eat the penguin, okay? You guys are friends, remember? Okay, he won't eat the penguin. He said he won't. Okay, are you guys ready for the third thing I'm thinking about? I'm ready to give you my first clue. Are you ready? But first, I have to go get something. I'll be right back. I'm back. Did you miss me? I miss you too. Okay, are you guys ready for my first clue of my third thing that starts with the letter P? Okay, I'm ready. Well, you probably have one on right now. That's your first clue. Remember, it starts with the letter P. It can hold things. You can put things in it. There's usually some attached to your pants. Or maybe your shirt or your jacket has them. And you can put your hands in there to keep them nice and warm. <gasps> I hear some great answers out there. And I hear some of the right answers too. You guys are so smart. Yes, it's a pocket. What would we ever do without pockets? This is my big giant pocket. And it holds all kinds of things. And today I have a filled with things that start with the letter P. <gasps> and did you know what? This pocket actually came from Portugal. <gasps> wow, that's in Europe. It's right next to Spain. Isn't that cool? Portugal starts with the letter P. Can you say Portugal? Good, say Portugal. Good job, friends. Well, the first thing I'm gonna pull out of Portugal is, think about it, it's gonna start with the letter P. A pan. This is a little toy frying pan. Isn't that neat? Say pan. Good job, yes. What's the next thing I'm gonna pull out of my pocket? You write with it and it has an eraser. It's a, yes, a pencil. Say pencil. Good job, friends. Mm, what's the next thing? <gasps> sometimes you eat these at dinner and some kids like them and some kids don't. I like them and they're really good for your body and they have lots of vitamins and they're little and they're green and they're a vegetable. <gasps> I hear some people guessing the right answer. It is <gasps> peas. Can you say peas? Say peas. Good job. Peas starts with the letter P. Isn't that amazing? <gasps> That's fun. Mommy, I want some peas, you can say later. Ooh, peas, yeah, that's fun. What else do I got in my big Portugal pocket? Let's see, let's feel around in here. Hmm. Oh, goodness. You know what I have? I think, I think I do. Oh yeah, oh, yeah he's in here. What has a little pink tail that curls up and goes oink, 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 oink. Yep, that's right, it's Mr. Pig, and he starts with a pea. Say hi, Mr. Pig. Hi. Hi. Say pig. Good job. This is Mr. Pig and all he has. 
to say to us is hi. Anything else you have to say to us, Mr. Pig? Hi. I, I like pigs. Okay, Mr. Pig, I'm gonna put you down by the penguin and the polar bear and hopefully you can be their friend. We'll see you later, Mr. Pig. Okay, what else do we got in this pocket for you guys? <gasps> oh my gosh, what do you write with that you can't erase? <gasps> it's a pin! Pin starts with P. Say pin. Good job, friends, pin. Very good. What else do we got in this pocket? <gasps> Ooh, my favorite. It's a bony. <gasps> oh, I love ponies. Every little kid likes ponies. <gasps> okay, we're gonna put the pony down, but first say pony. Good job, friends. Yes, good job. Hmm, what else do we got in here? <gasps> you guys will know this one. Who is this? That's right, it's Pumba. And he starts with a P. Say Pumba. Good job, guys. Yes. Pumba starts with a P. Look at all these P words we are learning. Let's see what else. <gasps> what do you write on? What do you draw pictures on? <gasps> yes. Paper, paper starts with the letter P. Say paper. Great job, friends, paper. Wow, look at all these things I can fit in my big giant pocket. I love pockets, they're so much fun. What is all this stuff? I think you eat it at the movies. What could it be? It feels like, what do you think it is? It goes pop, 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 pop. pop. It's popcorn! Woo! Fun! I love popcorn! Popcorn is so much fun to eat, and I think I'm gonna wait till after breakfast to eat this because I don't want my tummy to hurt. So I'll put the popcorn in the pan. Can you say popcorn? Good job, friends! Yes! Hmm, I think my pocket is now empty. Let's see. <gasps> There's one more thing. This is a paper clip. Can you say paper clip? Say paper clip. Good, paper clip. Good job, friends. You guys are so smart. Yes, perfect. Well, it's time to take off my pocket now because guess what time it is? That's right, it's time to ring Fairy Fran's bell and she's gonna tell us some fun fairy facts about what we've learned today that starts with the letter P. Are you guys ready? Good, so am I. Let's take off the pocket and put it over here so it doesn't go on the floor and get all dirty. Okay, Fairy Fran. Are you home, Fairy Fran? She's home and she's excited to tell us more things. Fairy friend, where do you want to sit today? Okay, in your chimney. Oh, don't worry, I won't drop you. Okay, I didn't know this was your favorite place. Fine with me. Is that fine with you? Good. Okay, fairy friend. Do you have any fun fairy facts to share with us today about what we've learned that starts with the letter P? <gasps> good, I can't wait. Can you whisper in my ear? Oh, good, 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 good. Ooh, that's very interesting. <gasps> really? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I'm so excited to tell my friends all this new information and they're gonna get so smart and I'm so excited. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Fairy Fran just informed me that polar bears have 42 teeth. Ooh, that's a lot of teeth. That's 10 more than you have when you're an adult. Ooh, so they have more teeth than us. Okay, what else did you tell me? Fairy Fran, let me remember. Did you know that they spend most of their time out at sea? I didn't know that. I always thought they were walking around on the snow all day in the Arctic. 
trying to find food, but now they spend most of their time out at sea swimming around, probably still trying to find food, I would guess. Do you know why they don't get cold in the Arctic? Mm, good guesses. They have 10 centimeters of blubber under their skin. Do you know what blubber is? It's kind of like a layer of fat, 10 centimeters. Let me show you how big that is. I got my ruler over here. Mr. Ruler, let's show everybody what 10 centimeters looks like. It's from here to here. They have that much blubber under their skin. And then they have their skin and their fur over it to keep them warm. That's amazing. Ooh, that's why they keep so warm in that cold area they live in. Ooh, Ooh good thing they have all that blubber, huh? Do you think polar bears have white fur? I did. No, their fur is transparent, which means you can see through it. You could see objects right through their fur. So what you're seeing is probably the snow and that's why their fur looks white. And did you know their skin isn't white either? Underneath their fur, they have actually black skin. Isn't that cool? That's amazing, I would have never known. <gasps> Thank you so much, fairy friend, for all your fun fairy facts. You have made our minds get bigger today and I'm so excited about that, aren't you guys? Yes, me too. Guess what time it is? It's time, oh wait, wait, I forgot. Who's on the bus that starts with P? <gasps> what are these? People! There are people on our bus. Say people. Good job, friends. Look at all the people going to school on the school bus. Say people. Good job. I'm so excited. My favorite part, my favorite part. Here we go. Get my glasses. And I'm gonna put them on. I gotta get ready. This is a big task. Get ready. Roll my neck, put them on. Oh, Quinn, hi Quinn, how are you? Thank you for watching. Hi Noel, hi Alejandro, there's Flynn, hi Flynn. And there's Nora and Emery, hello guys. Hey Faye, nice to see you're watching out there. And there's Ralph and Jaden, hi Elias, I see you. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I look forward to it every day. And get ready, because next time we're gonna do the letter Q. Q is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. Don't forget to push the little thumbs up button and subscribe. See you guys next time. Bye. Yay!